What's the situation? This doesn't exactly sound legit. Sorry about that, Cypher 9. Welcome to the Eastern Galactic Front. This whole star system is a crisis point. Republic and Empire are testing one another's strength. Meanwhile, the terrorists lurk in the middle. Good to see a friendly face. Good seeing you as well. I'm sorry the circumstances have to be unpleasant. The Eagle's men are using the war as a cover for local activities. Balmora is their training ground. Cell members recruit, instruct, and arm new terrorists here. Fresh soldiers destined for other points in the network. It's a vital part of the system. How do I fit in? To dismantle the terror cell there, you'll need local support. I'm alerting one of our officials to your presence. Lacan Renald is the station chief in Sobrick, the Imperial settlement where you landed. He runs intelligence operations on Balmora and can brief you more thoroughly. Is there more I should know? Renald runs his affairs out of the back of an arms dealership. He'll be waiting for you when you arrive. Move quickly on this one, Cypher 9, and watch what you say. If things go bad, you'll have half a planet gunning for you. Hey! Hey there! You got a second? You look like someone important in the Empire, huh? I, uh, bet you could get me to who's in charge. That seems like a strange request. I ain't never been more serious. Once you turned our droids against us, Balmora was dead. It's just mop-up for you. I want to come out of this with my head. I got info. Right here. Where the Rebels are. What they're hitting. Introduce me to the Mucky Mucks, and I'll trade them the rest for a berth off-planet. It's possible High Command might be interested. You bet they would be. Nothing happens in the Resistance that Griffin Remus doesn't know about. I think Lieutenant Trishoda handles defections, but he's been targeted a few times, so he don't take people off the street anymore. You convince him I'm the real goods, and I'd bet he'd cut you in a finder's fee. Are you the officer who deals with defectors? Yes. Though I prefer not to be quite so open about it. I'm Lieutenant Trishoda. High Command has tasked me to learn how these rebels think, as distasteful as that is. Have you found a candidate? Someone of enough value for the Empire to recruit instead of capture? A man named Griffin Remus. He seems to know the Rebels well. We should work with him. Hmm. Let me see anything you have on him. We could use a man on the inside. Thank you. I'll transfer our standard finder's fee to your accounts. Well, what have we here? Let me take a look at you. Splendid! No one ever suspects an alien. I'm glad Keeper finally sent someone. Pity it took a disaster to get Headquarters' attention. You must be Station Chief Reynold. At your service. I've been assigned to Balmora for almost 20 years and haven't enjoyed a day of it. Ha! Ah. But here, I'm being a poor host. Have a drink. Settle in after your trip. This shop doesn't look like much, but it's secure. Secure or not, this is an odd place to work from. The shop front's a necessary deception. The Republic and the terrorists have people everywhere. Rather than calling secret informants into a military base, I speak to them here, and no one's the wiser. These terrorists you're after, they've been a thorn in my side for a long while. They're worse than the Republic in some ways. Worse than the Republic? Is that your explanation for why they're still operational? I make no excuses. This terror cell is homegrown, made up of Balmorans unhappy with the Empire's rule. I suspect the Republic tacitly supports the terrorists, with their common enemy. So we do our best to cope with the bombings and sabotage. I suppose you just sit back and wait for their attacks. 
Don't be absurd. The terrorists don't announce their plans in advance, so there's little we can do. The governor makes an example of a few dozen Balmorans after each attack, but it doesn't have much of an effect. Meanwhile, I've been studying the terror cell structure, and there's good news. If we can take out the local leader, the cell should fall apart. What makes you so sure? Experience, Agent. Experience and age. The terrorists call the man in charge Grey Star. He runs the cell, gives the orders, and knows all the secrets. They claim Grey Star used to work with the Eagle, but who can be sure? Only the high-ranking cell members know Grey Star's identity. Do you have any theories about Grey Star? I don't need more theories. I need proof. I have a mole inside the terrorist cell already. He's a good lad. No cipher though. He can bring you in. You'd have the opportunity to impress the terrorists, win their trust. Win their trust, then shoot them. Got it. Just don't forget to find Greystar before the shooting starts, eh? Sanju Pine, my operative, can introduce you to the terrorist recruiters at the Troida Military Workshop outside the safe zone. But be careful how you present yourself. If the terrorists suspect you're Imperial, you'll lose Grey Star. And your lives. Don't waste my time, Sanju. You're lucky to even be here. I got you those scramblers, didn't I? Come on, Kimish, you owe me. Maybe not big time, but you owe me. When's the last time you did an operation for us? What? Come on, we've been over this. Grey Star didn't send out a call for cowards, and neither did the Eagle. Do you think... Hey! Someone finally made it. It's great to meet you in person. This is the group I was telling you about. I think you'll get along with them real well. Better than I do, hopefully. You're cute, but I think I'd remember if we'd met. What? I know... Sorry, I had to be vague during our Holonet talks. My real name's Sanju Pine. Kemish! This is the woman who got in touch with me after the Eagles broadcast. Said she wanted to join us. Uh-huh. Sanju says you fought the Imperials at Druckenwell. Says the Empire has a bounty on your head. I didn't know you were at Druckenwell. We should talk. Is all that real? You some ace killer looking to get the Empire off Balmora? You think I don't live up to my reputation? Maybe I do. Can you blame me? My name's Kemish. These people here? They follow Greystar, our founder. They've been spat on, starved, and punished by the Empire. Now you? You're not from Balmora. You haven't been through what they've been through. Makes me wonder how far I can trust you. You don't have to trust me. Let me prove myself. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe you can impress Greystar. There's an abandoned factory not far from here. Used to make droids. But its defenses went haywire when the Empire took over. Place is swarming with rogue security units. It's also full of expensive equipment. Get inside, and there's something I want. Name it, and it's yours. The Okara Droid Factory produced shielded power cores for stealth droids. I want a case for my people. My people can convert the cores into explosives, plant them around an enemy base, and thanks to the stealth shielding, no one will know until it's too late. Sounds nasty. But sometimes nasty is what gets the job done. Let's be upfront. This is a test. So if you fail, don't bother coming back. We'll just kill you. Good luck. And be careful. The factory's a nasty place. The Watchers said new agents were in the area. It's good you're here. I'm Fixer 66. I'm with the Operations Branch of Imperial Intelligence. And if you have a moment, I'd like to show you something. You have my attention, Fixer. On the left is an ordinary Republic Kong unit issued to resistance fighters. You've probably seen hundreds before. This other one is a Republic Kong unit that has undergone some surgery. Please look, don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. This is why I never let my holocom out of my sight. The plan is to take a few of these sabotaged comm units behind the Resistance's lines and plant them on their dead. The Resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. The resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point. Someone who won't break if captured and who can go without reinforcements. Can you do this? Let's get this done. Head over to our technical man, a Balmora local we drafted. The men call him Toybox. He'll give you the ordnance and show you how to transport it safely.
Fixer 66 called with the details. I've got your car units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toybox. Or, that's what they call me. I used to make... Well, never mind. Quite a plan the Fixer's got. What do you think of it? I like it. It exterminates the Resistance in their nests. The Resistance? Or anyone else that picks up the comm unit? He's assuming soldiers will be the ones stripping any Resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. It's regrettable. Unfortunately, no one makes a child-proof bomb. No, but it's more practical to kill a soldier than a civilian, right? We want a high-value target. While I was making the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. Now, a comm unit anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? Give me the grenades. I'll put them to use. Here, they're all of the same type, so you don't confuse them with any you might be carrying. Just put them on the resistance bodies, and Fixer 66 will love the results, I guarantee it. There's been chatter on the resistance frequencies while you were off planting the ordnance. Resistance grenades have been malfunctioning. Would you know anything about that? Toybox had an idea to limit civilian casualties. I went with it. Civilian casualties are intentional. Both civilian and resistance must fear the bombs. It's how we kill their morale. But besides that point, when you countermand my orders, Imperial troops need to be notified of any change. We now have to throw out every salvaged grenade in the mix because we don't know which ones are rigged to blow. I overstepped my bounds. I apologize. I suppose that will do. You're lucky you're not in our rank structure. For his part in this, Toybox will spend a few days in the stockade and receive lashes. You I cannot punish, but I doubt we will work together again. Keep trying to raise them. I may have another avenue. I'm Major Tyrus, commander of the 2nd Battalion. I understand you work intelligence. I have need of your assistance and your discretion. We have a rescue operation that must be mounted immediately. If this is urgent, why hide it? Because the Colonels don't like it when you can't find an entire platoon of your top soldiers. We sent them into the Akara Droid Factory for a covert electronic operation. Eight hours ago, their communications blacked out, which means the droids are onto them. What are their chances that close to Akara? I'll be frank. Other than grass, the soldiers are the only living things within a click of that factory. That's the droid's protocol. Nothing survives. So when I say I need you to find the first platoon, I mean it. I'd be proud to help out. Their ranking officer is Lieutenant Rutau. If the droids got him, then please, take command and lead the unit back. Get down! The droid patrols will spot you. Sorry to be jumpy, but if they find one of us, they'll find all of us. I'm Lieutenant Rutau, 5th Infantry, 2nd Battalion, Besh Company. I'd say 1st Platoon, but there isn't one anymore. Your ankle is charred down to the bone. You need a medivac out of here. Oh, that. I knocked over a droid and he shot me from the ground while I was slagging the others. That faceless one there is him. It was one of the many droid patrols from the Okara factory. They spotted us uploading a virus, surrounded us. It was ruthless. Droids aren't like people. They don't retreat. They don't accept surrender. They just keep exterminating. So now it's up to me. Is there any way I can help? No, no, I can shoot and move. I think some of the bone is still intact. If I can ambush enough patrols of battle droids, I can upload my packets and run before my painkiller wears off. What else can I do? I'm not going to ask you to go where I wouldn't. Sounds dangerous, but I'm willing to take a risk. <laughs> I've had sergeants like you. Promoted every one. Here are the virus packets. Your targets are the probe droids that travel with patrol escorts of battle droids. Destroy the battle droids, then use this security spike to crack the probes. They'll upload the viruses right into their network. Thank the stars I reached you. Sorry about earlier. With Kemich there, I couldn't say a thing. Station Chief Reynold told me you were from Imperial Intelligence, so I set things up as fast as I could. Anyway, um, Sanju Pine. Guess you know that. 
I'm Cypher 9. Ronald said good things about you. I'm trying not to mess up anyway. So, Kimish verified your background. Intelligence did its job, you're fine there. I'm doing my best to find out anything about the cell leader, Greystar. Maybe you can learn more when Kimish trusts you. Winning over Kemish is the top priority. Right. Well, she's a fanatic, but she respects results. The more you impress her, the more she'll give. There's one other thing. Those power cores you're after, you know what Kemish plans to do with them, right? She's gonna attack Sobrick. She'll have some of the new recruits plant the bombs and run, hit the town and the Imperial base. I mean, that's very nearly sickening. I know a way to disable the power cores so Kemish won't suspect you. There's a machine in the factory that can do it. Run the sealed case through the machine, and the cores will fly. Kemish will see you didn't unlock it. She'll assume the cores went bad over the years. It's a risk, but we could save a lot of people. I'm in. Great. I'll send you the machine's coordinates. We can stop a lot of bloodshed. I'll see you when you get back to Troida, okay? Sanju out. Kinda cute, isn't he? Kinda stupid, too. If he had money, he'd be perfect. Sanju has a few things going for him. You two would be perfect for each other. Horrifying, but true. Anyway, let's find that machine. Or maybe not. You're alive! And not only that, my comlink is picking up signals again. Is everything uploaded? There were complications. But it's been handled. Now it's my turn. I'll aim our scanners at the Okara droid factory to measure the extent of the damage the virus has caused. If the computer core shuts the probes down, I can record how long a window that creates for future assaults. Would it matter if I told you to go back to base and get medical attention? Sure, and I will. Their anti-air defenses should be compromised, so I'll creep out of here when it's safe. I cannot express what your success will mean. Not to me, I'm nothing, but to the families of the men who died for this mission. Those soldiers did not fail their empire. Nor did their empire fail them. Lieutenant Ruta reported in. He says you completed the platoon's objective alone. I hope you understand never to commit your troops like this again. Ruta's men had a time-dependent mission, as did all other available units. Lack of reinforcements was an accepted risk. Our battalion may have been unable to assist the platoon at Akara, but I assure you they were not sitting idle. Oric and Kresh companies, and the remainder of Besh, simultaneously invaded Rebel Post and Broken Valley. They found something. I'm glad someone in this outfit succeeds on the first try. Yes. We've become good at deciphering the mess that Imperial Intelligence sends our way. Our droids went through the Rebel databanks and pulled out messages about them occupying a tunnel network we call Cave 52. The Rebels are in Broken Valley, and they're moving in cargo. All indications are that this load is special. Bombs work wonders on caves. Have you contacted the Air Force? No. We want the cave contents undamaged. The Rebels transferred in elite units. This is something they don't want us to have. If our whole battalion comes knocking, they'll evacuate immediately. We'll need a small, fast attack to get inside K-52. The guerrillas know the tunnels quite well, so I suspect they have ambush points. It doesn't matter where they hide. Their fate will be the same. Good. Word will spread about the captured posts, so I would head to Broken Valley immediately. We'll have a surveillance officer monitoring K-52's largest entrance. His name is Trekt. When you've seen the cargo, report to him, and he'll contact me on a secure frequency. Go in strength. Back already? Your friend's quick, Sanju. Told you she was good. You tell me a lot of things, but I asked for the stealth droid power cores. If you don't have them, you're wasting my time. Spare me the attitude. I want to work with you. Here. Huh. Looks like you actually made it to the factory. It'll take a minute to get this case open. Sanju, go fetch Pyther and a droid. I think we've got it, Kemish. Crack the case open and let's see if our new friend did the job right. Looks like everything's here. Except... What's this? The readouts say the power cores are fried. What did you do? I went in there and got the case like you asked. You don't get to make excuses. Not to me, and definitely not now. Kamish, come on. 
There are plenty of ways those things could have gone bad. It is suspicious. But power cores are pretty fragile. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bad luck can happen to anyone. Once. You said yourself that you need people. Let me try again. Fine. I'll give you one more shot, but you better make this work. You've seen the caves in this valley? Dark and cramped, but they make a nice hiding place. Scanners bounce right off them. Useful for all sorts of things. Seems like a good discovery. Greystar set up a training outpost in the caves a while back. Then the Empire started dropping gas bombs on the Republic. The outpost was poisoned. Toxin got into the soil. Turned good kids into drooling psychos. And the caves were overrun by our own people. Give the word and I'll secure the place for you. Drooling killers or not. You don't think small, do you, huh? Tempting, but no. We're willing to cut our losses, but there's still data on the outpost computers. I want it transmitted out and the systems destroyed. Sanju, get to high ground outside of town. You can pick up the signal with the booster box. Is all that clear? The toxin victims will be after you, but get that data wiped or we're finished. I know what I'm doing. I'll make it through the caves. Now get out of here. I've got to figure out what we're going to do without those power cores. I'm here. What do you need, Amber Hold on. How did you get in? You know, what you rebels need to ask is, where can I not get in? An Imperial. <laughs> but not a grunt. Listen, the people in that complex aren't of any consequence and are certainly no threat to the Empire. They have quite an escort for people of no military value. Try again. I'm telling the truth. They're Force Sensitives, and the law on Imperial planets is all Force Sensitives must be trained as Sith. If you don't train, you're executed as a potential threat, but not everyone would make it as a Sith. Some people discover their sensitivity when they're too old, or they just don't have the will. So they go into hiding with us. One doesn't hear much about those weak in the Force. Right. But it doesn't mean they deserve to be executed, or forced to stab each other in the back. We get them to Republic Planet so they can grow dirt, or compose symphonies, or whatever it is they're good at. But the Emperor keeps making laws that say they have to die. If they are no threat, they have little to fear from me. Are you serious? Your superiors would... Well, I won't tell them if you don't. Everyone in that cavern will have you to thank for their lives. We'll clear everyone out of the caves. It would be best if you could say you found nothing here. You're Tyrus's operative, correct? Good to see you alive. Major? Yes, your operative is here. She secured the tunnels. Uh, no, I contacted you immediately, sir. He wants to know if you made it in time. K-52 has no cargo. They moved whatever it was before I entered. Sir? Uh, we've got dust. Uh-huh. I'm certain, sir. He's cursing about Imperial intelligence again. You may want to sit down. This usually takes a while. Sir? Yes, sir. I'll pass the word on. He apologizes for the unnecessary danger. It looks like our battalion is going to be searching the other caves. That should wrap things up? We'll find their nerve center soon enough. And when we do, they'll pay. You, on the other hand, are in the Major's good books. He wants to commend you for aiding the battalion. If every soldier we had risked their neck like you, this Empire would be a much different place. I'm receiving your transmission. Give me a second to fine-tune the frequency and I'll start transferring the data. There. It's all coming in now. I guess you made it to the outpost, okay? I'm fine. What's your status? I'm in the grasslands above the valley. Chemish didn't send anyone with me so I can speak freely. It's actually really pretty up here. 
All this data Kimmich wanted us to retrieve. I think some of it's from Greystar. Orders, communiques, all sorts of stuff. Last, there's a list of collaborators. Balmorans who have been working with the Empire since the occupation. Kimmich hates collaborators. What do you think our plans are for the list? Kimmich probably wants to make the list public. If the collaborators are outed, a lot of Balmorans will want them dead. Some of these guys are officials, factory bosses, the works. If they start getting killed, the governor's gonna punish everyone. Punish them how, exactly? After a big terrorist hit, the governor rounds up a bunch of civilians. Most of them disappear forever. Look, I can send the list on to the Imperial authorities. They can set up protection for the collaborators in case Chemish goes public. I know Chemish might get suspicious after what happened with the power cores, but... What else can we do? Get the message out to secure the collaborators. No one else has to die. All right. I'll do my part. We'll hope Chemish doesn't catch on. I need to sign off and get back to Troida. You should do the same. Send you out. You two are so good together. Sanji wants to save lives, you want to save lives. It's cute. Shame you'll never find happiness together. What can I say? People just fall at my feet. They do. Me? I have to push men down there, but it all works out. Anyway, let's get going. No point hanging around here. You made it to the outpost okay? Good. Sanju was just showing me the data you sent back. In fact, you did the job pretty well. There's just one little problem. Tell me, and we'll solve it together. Fine. Listen up. I had a list of collaborators on the outpost computer. Sanju downloaded the list and gave it to me. All good so far. But now the Imperials are posting extra security around my targets. Looks like there's a leak inside my organization. Any ideas? I've been busy with your missions. Why are you asking me? You're new here. I thought fresh eyes might be a help. Maybe not. Greystar will know how to handle this. For now, I need your skills for a special job. I don't have anyone else who can do it. Just say the word, Kemish. I'm in. You know all about the way the Empire and the Republic have been using our planet as a battleground. Pretty obvious stuff. Normally, the Republic doesn't bother us, they've got other worries. But I need someone to get inside the main Republic base. It won't be simple, but you've come to the right person. Good attitude. I need you to make a drop to one of our friends in the Republic ranks. Get past the guards, get inside and make the delivery. That's it. What delivery? Who am I looking for? You want to work with us, you need to get used to not knowing every little detail. She's right. It's just part of the setup. Don't get offended. Here's the package and the coordinates of your target. He'll know what to do once you make the delivery. We're clearing out this safe house, so I'll contact you once we've settled somewhere else. And be careful at the base. They find you, they kill you. Blow up a few Imperials for me, will you? Not a problem. See you in a while. If you make it back alive, I can promise we'll be working together a lot. We'll talk soon. Watch yourself. Help me! You there! Yes, you! Please! My comrade took severe damage while engaging the enemy. Please, we have to repair him! Do not waste the time of an organic. The damage to my motivator exceeds reasonable repair. Continue our assigned task alone. I cannot just leave you out here. I will return you to headquarters fully operational, brother. I have to. I didn't realize that droids could have such strong emotions. This is my counterpart, my comrade. I cannot just leave him in this war zone to face destruction alone. I have to save him. Unit B6NX carries experimental emotional programming, which may be the cause of his current malfunction. Camaraderie and compassion increase unit cohesion, thereby increasing combat effectiveness by a factor of five. The observed result is that your programming prevents you from ignoring my damage and carrying out mission priorities. A clear flaw. Don't listen to him. This single-use pass card will open a hidden supply locker in the nearby junkyard. You can retrieve a new motivator and we can repair my comrade. 
Using our assigned pass card in order to repair me is a waste, 6NX. If the organics wish to help, they should use the card to retrieve a data spike to counteract your flawed emotional programming. If neither of you can complete your assignments, then action must be taken. I am incapable of engaging enemy soldiers, whereas Unit B6NX only chooses not to. Repairing his faulty programming is the most expedient solution. Engaging those resistance fighters would have subjected you to further risk of damage. I couldn't take that chance. Please, take this card and retrieve the motivator to repair my friend. Please, I can even reward your help. I know the location of another supply cache, one that isn't locked. Its contents will surely be useful to you. Bribery. Refusal to carry out programmed directives. My counterpart's malfunctions are obvious. Please retrieve a data spike to correct him. Two battle droids are better than one. I'm going to find that motivator you need. Excellent. As I said before, you should find one in a locked case hidden in the junkyard. You're going to make it, buddy. Such a waste of time and resources. You retrieved the motivator. 5TM, you're going to make it. I will begin repairs. Hopefully, once I return to full functionality, I can get you to resume our duties. I cannot thank you enough, Brave Organic. Here, these are the coordinates for the supply cache I promised. My pleasure. Farewell, Brave Organic. Hey, I don't have long, but please tell me you didn't deliver the package to the Republic base yet. I haven't delivered the package yet. But I have good news. That package you're carrying is for Greystar, the terror cell leader. Greystar's the man inside the Republic base. Kemish wants to extract him, and you've been sent to help. If you're right, then Greystar is mine. That's how it looks. As best I can tell, Greystar has been secretly managing and supplying the terror cell while pretending to be a loyal Republic officer. It was the perfect cover. Well, until the Republic started to suspect. Now Greystar needs to escape before he's caught. Republic soldiers, the terrorist leader, and anyone else in there. They're dead. Well, maybe, but there's something else. Your package contains instructions and maps leading to a safe house. But we could change those instructions. Send Greystar into a trap. Once we have Greystar, we could make him give up his security protocols. We could send out orders to the cell using his name. In that case, the Empire would have the whole cell as a puppet. That's the idea. I know how Kemish and her people think. If we capture Greystar and learn what he knows, I can forge convincing orders. Chief Reynolds has been looking for a way to turn the terrorists against the Republic for ages. We can make it work. I'm here to destroy the terror cell, not subvert it. If you say so. Me? I'd rather see Kemish and her people under Imperial control than running around without a leader. I'm sending you rendezvous coordinates. If you want to do this thing, tell Greystar to meet me there. I'll arrange the rest. If you don't send him my way, well, I guess you'll have to kill him. I don't think it'll come to killing Greystar. Good luck, then. I don't know if I'll see you again. Depending on what happens with Greystar, I may have to go into hiding for a while. But it's been an honor working with you. Sanju, out. I'm not your friend, Greystar. I'm your enemy. Ek farkak sara for fast you. Granya me me vrani hev viku omli bi arin you. Dau i ura triste u marmiki. Home o humrus no min muslon fatei. Can't we stop the violence? We could work together. Mer pemrati haivo semper finst jun u nisan dumu ganyor nol. E gratio pegar huska me vini. Violence isn't always the best solution.
Dawi ura triste umar miki. Home o humrus no min muslon fatehi. It takes a brave man to change direction. But you can't continue this way. Ojamin gefur. Moglan mar til kisa hom hud ya broror. Huglinem sinum hover vigiaf. Ver kvoli drafa ut potamina. Menufitan fine milman morio un malto miten. This is the right thing to do. Skilda power ekare gildi mukfleri. Yuzer handi lomiare mor grun temi. Hoge borne vinam firsta. Eh, oslov kakanin penendag. I expect a full report as soon as possible, Station Chief. Of course, of course, of course. As soon as things have calmed down. Ha! What have we here? If it isn't the Cypher herself, come triumphantly to our doorstep. I was just telling our Keeper about you. What's going on here? Renum, summarize the situation for Cypher 9. You've surprised us all with your gift, Cypher. Greystar coming to us, offering to surrender. He made some demands for leniency and rambled about his people, but he was cooperating quite a day. You do plan to abide by his terms. No reprisals. Mercy for the cell members. Indeed. And why aggravate him? So long as Grey Star's helping us, we can afford to throw the man a bone. The Balmoran cell is no longer a threat. The other cells in the Eagle's network will no longer receive fresh recruits and supplies from this world. Hard to believe those people were ever a threat. Those people helped destroy an Imperial Dreadnought and assassinate Darth Jadis. They were a deadly threat. Station Chief Reynold will take matters from here. He'll run cleanup and forward any discoveries to headquarters. When you return to your ship, contact Watcher 2. She will brief you on all new developments and transfer credits to your discretionary accounts. I have other business to take care of on Balmora. Make it fast. This planet may be secure, but the evil is still at large. Good work once again, Cypher 9. Keep her out. That man hides it well, but the strain's getting to him. Probably worried the Dark Council will skin him alive. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Make no mistake, I don't hold him responsible for what happened. But Darth Jadis was assassinated on his watch. Ah, oh, but... Now's no time to discuss politics. You deserve a moment of celebration, and I have work to do. It's been a pleasure doing business. Indeed, my friend. Indeed. Not bad, Agent. Not bad at all. You and me, we're going places. Hey, sounds like things went pretty well with the Station Chief. I'm glad to hear it. You deserve a little praise. You kept the bloodshed to a minimum. And I'm grateful, you know? I felt it was the right thing to do. Yeah, well, it was something I could never pull off. So, nice work. I'm not sure what I'll be doing now that Chemish and Greystar are out of the picture. Or even what I want to be doing. And I guess you're leaving Belmora? It's too bad. It would have been nice to spend some time together outside of work. If you want to celebrate, I don't have to leave the planet quite yet. I'm up for it if you are. A few drinks, maybe? And if the station chief asks where we went, well, I'll just say you swore me to secrecy. All right, I'll let you get back to work. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into each other again someday. I could use another partner. You could always tag along. Learn to pilot a ship. Use a blaster properly. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but... Balmora's my home. Besides, I don't think I could keep up. Watch yourself out there. I hear it's a nasty galaxy. And if the Empire's gonna run the place, well... We need folks like you.
Secure transmission established. This is Watcher 2. I'm glad you checked in, Cypher. Chatter has increased among the surviving cells, and it seems the Eagle is planning another attack. What kind of attack? I'm not sure. The Eagle only needed one cell to bomb the Dominator and assassinate Darth Jadis. For what's coming, he's using the entire Terra network. But the messages we've intercepted are frustratingly vague. Just cryptic references to devices called Eradicators. That's just wonderful. Isn't it, though? Not much to be done at the moment. You need to focus on taking the Terra network apart. As you eliminate the larger cells, we can identify more terrorist activity centers. Eliminate enough, and the network will lose cohesion. Guess I'll be bailing you out again. Good. Why don't you shoot a few people? That always helps me sort the data. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I just haven't had the energy to spend on social protocol. I'll be in touch. Watch her two out. <laughs>